Well, welcome back everybody, Dodge here, and today I'm going to show you a very cool bunker base that I've found. I recently showed a lot of you a really cool Firewatch base, and I got a lot of positive feedback from that. So today I'm going to do the opposite and show you a bunker base, which I think is really cool. Now this isn't for everyone, it's going to be pretty overpowered, but um, it's worth to take a look at anyway, and I think it'll be a lot of fun. Now this is called Shelter 2533, and here is the entryway, so we're going to hop out here and uh, take a quick look. Now this is a spacious bunker hidden in the countryside between Rosewood and Falls Lake, and uh, I haven't seen too much of it, so we're going to explore it for the first time together, but it does look really cool, or at least it does have a pool table, which I found to be pretty awesome. Just gonna park here as you can see it is a very spacious garage and well this kind of gives us insight to just how big this place is gonna be so can't see any uh, infected around so we'll close up and uh, we should be good did that close sometimes this door doesn't seem to make any noise which is a bit weird but moving on so as you can see the garage itself has a lot of room for storage and a lot of room for cars well, let's go through and explore now, this base currently has it fully furnished, but you can get it without any furnishings. You can have it completely empty, just so you can do your own thing. And you probably notice that there is a, quite a few airlocks as we come in, and this is to help stop infected coming through, which I think is a really genius idea. Very simple, but very effective. You can see we've got some lockers here and a decontamination shower as we're coming through. We've also got these emergency red lights as we come through. Now, they are actually uh, in the build, and I've seen screenshots of them active. I just don't know how to get them to activate. I've tried getting zombies to hammer through the base, and uh, that didn't seem to activate them. So maybe it's like an emergency power thing, um, and you'll see what I mean in a bit. So let's go through here, and now, keeping in mind, this is fully furnished, so there's just stuff all over the place. We've got some area for uh, clothing racks, we've got fridges, we've got other fridges, we've got food, stock things, we've got boxes, shelving, it's it's an absolute just cluster of, uh, of areas where we can put our different items, which I think is I think is really cool. If you're playing with a massive group and you just wanted to have like a ton of fun, you didn't really care about the whole thing, I think this is going to be really cool for you guys. So let's check a few of these offshoots of rooms that are uh, located inside. So as we come through one of the first doors here, we have a room with a bunch of military hardware. Not too much of it, to be honest. I think um, I think it's very uh, very low key for what it is, which is really cool. Also got a radio and a computer, so we can keep in touch with the outside world. Some more storage and a little medical bay, so we can work on our friends or ourselves if needed, which is really cool. We won't go through there just yet. I'm going to come back and I'm going to check the rest of these side doors. I just love how this is all underground and just very secretive. It reminds me of like a nuclear bunker, which is, which is really cool. Now, this is probably my favorite room. This is like a, a rumpus or just a, a man cave, if you know what that is. Um, very cool little room. Got a, your pool table, TV, chairs. You can chuck whatever you want in here, really. I think these are fireplaces, if I'm not mistaken. Which I think is really cool. It's like a it says it's like a stove, but I think it's like a fireplace. Very cozy, very cool. Now, if we cut through here, we'll be back to near where we started. So we'll go down here. This is where we entered. So if we came up through this way, we have a little makeshift kitchen and a little cooking stove type thing. And we'll go up here. This is where our beds are, some lockers and another fire, and some storage in these little military crates, which is really cool. And we'll come through here. And these are all the bathrooms and washing areas. We've got our washer and dryer, male and female bathrooms. It's very, um, it's, it's very fancy for uh, apocalyptic living, I think. So as you can see, we'll come through here and go past the bathroom. And this is where we get into the last room of the, uh, the first level. And if we go through these doors here, this links up with our little medical bay that we came through earlier. So it is a giant square with like one room in the middle. So let's go upstairs and take a look at what's going on. Now, you can see we have a generator already located inside. Now, this is what I think these red lights are for. I have a feeling that once the big power goes down and you're running off the generator, I feel like it may turn on these red lights. I could be wrong. 
If you can figure it out, let me know. So let's go outside and take a little look around. So we've obviously gone up a level. Now, this is incredibly overpowered, but very interesting. So as we start to zoom out here, you might notice that our second level has all these grates down to the first level, you know, if you want to get down on the ground. Now, you can't actually run or jump or anything over these. So that means nothing can get up. So this entire top area is completely safe unless something comes through the entire base and up through the door that we just came out of. Uh, so you could do a ton of farming up here, which I think is the point. Um, seems to be the, uh, the go-to, which is very impressive. So you could pretty much live out your days here very, very comfortably. It's a beautiful base. It's very well designed. I really like it. I do think a lot of people will prefer to have it unfurnished so they can do their own sort of thing to it. But this gives you an idea of just what you could sort of do and, and how you could sort of go about furnishing the place, setting it up. I just think it's very cool. And I just wanted to show you guys that today. I thought it was really cool. I hope you also found it cool. If you did, maybe uh, consider hitting the like button. We're going to go back out here to the main area. I'm just going to do a quick little drive around so you can get an idea of the scale. You probably already have an idea, but we're going to take a look anyway. If you like these sorts of videos, guys, please, um, you know, consider subscribing. It does help the channel quite a bit. I always go to get in the right hand side of the cars. I'm not, I'm not in my country. What are we doing? Let's reverse out here and take a little look around no i'm not going to shut the gate we don't need to stress too much although there is zombies spawning around so we've got to be, be got to be a little careful there isn't too much stopping uh zombies from smashing down your door so you may need to clear the area out uh, or clear the whole cell out and um and just be wary of that so as you can see we're going around here and you can see on top from, from down here. So zombies will spot you if they're hanging around. So just be careful. But seriously, just such a cool base. Now this is made by the same person who made the Firewatch base that we looked at. And you can find that video on my channel. Um, it is a very, very cool base. Oh god, I've slammed my car into the wall already. And that is that. So we can shut up shop. We can... Uh, go and watch some TV inside and not really have too many dilemmas. I did think it was cool. I originally thought that um, these red lights that glow would turn on if uh, the doors of the base started getting destroyed, but I did test that out and it didn't seem to do anything different. So yeah, if you could figure that out, let me know. That'd be amazing. But I thought that would be a really cool idea anyway, just as sort of like an emergency light to uh, to wake everyone up or let everyone know that, you know, the place had been breached. But for now, we're going to sit down, we're going to watch some television, we're going to sit down, we're going to watch the likes of this video go up. I do have a really exciting challenge coming up that I am working on completing. I've been struggling with it. It involves a extraction by a helicopter. So kind of an ending to the game, really. Um, and there is a little bit of story to it, but um, I'm having a lot of trouble actually getting that completed. So that's in the works and that's something to look forward to. Uh, if you like this video, hit like. We play a lot of projects on board and we do also indie horror games here. So if you like either of those, maybe subscribe. And you know what? I might see you again soon. This is Dodge signing out. Thanks again. See you later.